Hey kids, welcome to the first episode of Hyperspace Hijinx Holocron. So in this series, I'm going to take you into the world of Star Wars that you may not be familiar with, which consists of the books, the games, and the comics, and also anything we happen to experience outside the movies and TV shows. Oh yeah, before we begin, definitely major spoilers. So if you've not read the book, plan on reading the book, then probably don't listen to this. If you are curious about the book or just want me to tell you the whole story, keep going. This week, the High Republic era began with a few newly published books. So if you want to know what's going on in this new era of Star Wars, this is the place. Now, I'm not going to tell you the whole story in detail, but I will go over what's basically happening so that if you are curious but don't have the time or just aren't a reader, you can get the basic idea. And hopefully, if you enjoy this sort of Cliff Notes version, you'll decide to pick up the book or you mean maybe the audiobook for yourself. And I'll do this all in just a few minutes. So we're going to begin with the novel Light of the Jedi, written by Charles Soule. This is the first book of this launch and pretty much starts everything off. This story takes place roughly 200 years before the prequels, so two centuries before The Phantom Menace. The galaxy has been at peace for a very long time at this point. Now, when I say galaxy, I'm referring to the collection of planets that the main civilization of Star Wars during this time period know about. Think of it kind of like when the US was just 13 colonies and still had to expand to the West. In the Star Wars universe, the West is known as the Outer Rim, which, for the audience, especially those of us who follow the movies and TV shows, is something we are very familiar with as Luke's home planet of Tatooine is in the Outer Rim. But to the characters in the High Republic, Tatooine is still somewhere they have yet to explore. The first few chapters explore a few events in a small system in the Outer Rim known as Hetzel Prime that are taking place right before a tragic event occurs. Each chapter begins with the location and time before impact. We start with life aboard a big starship filled with passengers. Its captain is making her rounds and visits with some of the children who are just itching for new holovids to watch. They are traveling through hyperspace, which we know to be when ships go to light speed, but to further explain a little bit, think of them as sort of tunnels through space that allow for quicker space travel. The captain gets a warning and turns out something is heading their way in this hyperspace tunnel, something that should be impossible. Now, because of the size of the ship and the speeds it can go, the captain has seconds to act and the chapter unfortunately ends with the inevitable. The next chapter takes us to a sort of monitoring station where a young man is contemplating asking a Twi'lek who works at his local pub out for dinner. This again sets up life as being relatively peaceful as he isn't that concerned, but then he starts seeing some anomalies. Several objects are traveling towards the planets and orbital stations at high speed. His supervisor isn't even as familiar with the procedures because, again, they never really needed to be that alert. Realizing the danger, they send out a system-wide emergency alert before their station is destroyed. So we find ourselves in the chambers of the local government where a small meeting is taking place when they get the alert, which has no actual message. All they know is that the station that sent out the alert is no longer there. We learn that their defense budget was also significantly decreased because, well, peace. They realize what the monitoring station saw and also realize that there is no way to stop it. So without any real defense system, they can only issue an evacuation warning to the system knowing that there realistically would not be enough time for a majority of the people and planets to evacuate. Because the people didn't know exactly what was going on, a lot of them assumed it was just a glitch or a prank and never took it seriously. Those who did take it seriously unfortunately didn't have the means to leave. The spaceports were packed and the flight's prices went up. So in their darkest hour, when the inevitable is about to happen, they receive a message of hope. The Jedi have arrived. And with that, we end here. So, there you have it. The events of the first three chapters of Light of the Jedi by Charles Soule. Intrigued yet? Stay tuned for what happens in the next episode of Hyperspace Hijinx Holocron. 
If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe and leave us a comment if you have any feedback or if this convinced you to pick up the book or the audiobook. We'd definitely love to know. Until next time, this is Rich, and may the force be with you. Catch you on the flip side.